podcasts. Hello and welcome back to the ESL ESCA Pro League. I'm joined by Mitch Uber shouts Leslie for tonight and already we have seen quite a spectacle of CS. We've managed to see Penta's debut up against Na'Vi, albeit on cash, but it looked convincing. Their first showing in the ESL yeah. ESCA Pro League so far and honestly I'm pretty impressed. I think the new players bringing in of course, or new, Speedy of course, and Tarsin <laughs> joining the lineup have definitely bolstered them yeah. uh, in more ways than maybe just on the actual battlefield there. So Na'Vi now, conversely, maybe suffering a little bit from that one now. Uh, our next game of course features them going up against Titan. Yeah, this is going to be intriguing to me. Two different kind of voices in my head. One of them kind of voicing towards the French saying, this is actually, this is overpass. This is a map that I've always looked at uh, as being not something that, it's not really Titan's strength and it's clear. I mean, we saw yesterday they had a showing up against Fnatic where they gave Fnatic so much. Like they, I mean, it's a case of gave an inch, gave up, like took yep, a mile. Absolutely. Because they was on that T side and Fnatic just walked all over them. No matter what Titan kind of presented on the CT side, they just could not find a way in against Fnatic. Of course, maybe things are going to be different against Nine. But the other voice in my head is also saying that Titan have now got like no excuse. They they just played a game on overpass against Mouse Sports. That didn't go their way. No. That was over in the Sevo League. And so I mean they they are gonna have a bit of a kind of a weird tilty mind going, okay, we've just lost twice on overpass. You mean Fnatic, meh, but Mouse? 16-10 was the score as well. So it was, yeah, honestly, not that convincing a performance from Titan, a team that, well, they're getting plenty of practice on uh, Overpass at the very least, and even seeing on Twitter as well, uh, they're not loving the map right now by the seams of things. Yeah, it's, that's right. It was uh, Scream literally just tweeted out saying, starting to hate Overpass. Yep. So that's that doesn't surprise me considering his scoreline yesterday. I remember me and Lauren kind of highlighting he was sitting on five frags for the majority of that game where he was kind of not being given the uh, freedom some of the teams give him by Fnatic. And I mean, while we do have some time, we're currently residing on three members of Titans. We're wait, waiting on those final two. The way Fnatic structured their T side, um, it's something at the end of the stream yesterday, I was like, if you guys want to improve, look at the way they did it because it was so different to what you, you usually see. The default kind of T side is going to be a case of you push towards Fountain, get some early control towards Toilets, try and push the CTs back. And the CTs, of course, are going to be pushing you through restrooms and the, sure. there's kind of this altercation and connector. Fnatic completely just threw that Damn. to the wind and went to these, these very short contested t t territories, you know, towards a monster, towards water, and as soon as they got control of that, they then realized, like, I didn't think about it like that. But as soon as you have connector, you are, you have, like, you are at either site very, very quickly. And the CTs, especially if they've lost a couple, have to guess, have to assume. And that's where Fnatic have their strength. Fnatic gave themselves um, a, a lot of control of those thoroughfares in that game. Mm. But even more interestingly is that Titan, from, from start to finish, were always wanting to go head to head with Fnatic. Go head to head. Take the 1v1. Yeah. Even though I have no nades, no armor, a uh, crappy pistol, I'm going to try and fight you and take this away and you know we talk about tilt mechanics as well sometimes in CSGO and how you can be affected by that as yeah. well maybe that was a part of it as well but Titan uh, you know just seemed to always be coming out so aggressive it didn't work out for them and Fnatic well I mean they, they got away with murder really literally I guess they just kept taking round after round after round and Titan tried so many different things and just couldn't hold them back and like you said the T side for Fnatic was stellar absolutely stellar and after not being able to hold against a team on CT it doesn't give you a heck of a lot of confidence for what you could maybe orchestrate on the T side yourself. Ah, oh, Starx is having a little play in uh, as he warms himself up. But uh, away from the playground, I think it's not going to be all fun and games for Titan. Last time these guys played, last time they met, it, on this very map was over in Gaming Paradise. So not too long ago, yep. we have, of course, had a um, plethora of CSGO events after that one. I mean, we have got CSGO event almost every weekend these days, so yes. we really have been treated to a whole lot of CS. But way back when in Gaming Paradise, we did see that win go the way of Na'Vi after an overtime. 19-15 being the final result. So that's, um, I mean, that was pre-Scream. That was, of course, with Maniac rocking the roster. And I do, yeah, I, I'm intrigued to see where uh, this one goes. I do have to say that the stars are aligning more so for Na'Vi than Titan in this one. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, we, we talked about Scream having a little bit of an off night last night, as it were. 
I want to highlight him here. I want to point him out uh, as a player who I think is a fantastic counterpoint to, to Flamey as well. If we're going to even see him in this game, I'll see Starix actually in, so maybe Flamey subbing out. But that would have been a, that would be an amazing matchup to sort of see those two. Flamey's in game, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, panic, um, no, panic not. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, if I go if I go across and compare all these players with their opposite numbers, that to me is probably the most exciting matchup as well. Scream has such a high skill cap as a player as well. He's really mm. excited to, to, to see, but we know how Flamey he can turn on or flame on as it were Ooh. sometimes the guy is the guy is an absolute beast when it counts and then there's the facet there's the counter argument that well Navi are just coming off a pretty disappointing loss to Penta and a match where they ostensibly should easily have taken away so a lot of factors to be weighing up here as well and it well uh, as, as always a lot will depend on that pistol I want to see how these teams get off to a start last time Navi played this map it was against TSM uh, last week and they lost 16-10 uh, and also Titan actually uh, back on the 6th of October uh, lost to TSM 16-5. So both these two teams have fallen foul of the TSM on this map. And let's jump into the knife round here and see what Titan can do after an average light night last night. Yeah, that's uh, going to be an interesting one. You did touch on Scream. And of course, uh, there is a very popular thread on Reddit now where someone highlighted his game yesterday against Envy over in the Face It League. He had a 95% headshot rate. 95% Un unheard of, really, yeah. unless you scream. And that's not like he only got one kill and it was a headshot or something stupid like that. 22 kills, 95% headshot rate. That's absolutely crazy. And we'll see if he can kind of match that in this one up against the boys over at Navi. We did see the knife go the way of Shocks. He managed to pick up those two last knives and it's going to be tight. And then you have the choice of where they want to start. Absolutely there, so I no mean, how important is this now, of, of course? I mean, talking about, uh, you know, how, mu how much is that knife round meaning now, of course, with Titan starting on the CT side, because this is this could be the monkey on their back of Fnatic <laughs> yeah, just exactly. belting them last night. This is exactly what happened. They won the knife against Fnatic. They got the CT side. As, you know, you always kind of count that as a win on Overpass, especially you, it's, a, it's a side that definitely is favoured uh, here on Overpass, but Fnatic kind of blew that out of the water yesterday. Let's see if uh, Navi can follow in their shoes. Either way, though, jumping on into this one. Distinct lack of nades for Navi. Just going for the full armor, even a Tech-9 on Flamey. So he's going to be the, uh, well, it's been dubbed Raid Boss. He's going to be the tank at the front line. Definitely looking to draw some Titan blood. And on the Titan side, only two players with armor here. Shocks and Scream. 5-7 in the hands of RPK and Existence. And you can see they've poured themselves down well, towards mid, towards a plaza. And actually, Existence has gone into connector here. And they're waiting to see where Na'Vi's going to push on this one as well. Looks like a little bit of a set play towards Ace. Some smokes are coming out. Na'Vi readying themselves for some kind of push. I like what Cease is doing here. He is going to be able to catch at least one out of the door. Oh, not. Existence swings and finds him. And Scream in the meantime does exactly the same with his P2K. Oh, even a disappointing oh. one behind him. Zeus is going to be kicking himself as Na'Vi finally finds some sort of legroom. Some sort. That's three. What was that? Edward and Guardian come alive. And now we have to find the final two players from Titan. That was such a stabilizing play. Shock's trying to sneak there through. Red. He does go towards Edward on, on, on walkway, as we call it. Now Guardian going to make his way in towards Pipes. Oh my lord, that was some impressive stuff now. Just the last man for Na'Vi here. Does have to deal still with the 5-7 in the hands of existence. And of course, Shox will be waiting for them there with a bit of armor. Definitely not an easy situation to navigate here. Shox got himself set up in Sniper. Existence in Pit. And I'll just wait for some sound cues here, I'm sure. But look at Guardian though, he will go down Existence. What a great round from the man. Some beautiful work with the pistol. And Titan start off strong. <sighs> Navi, that they got, they definitely kind of forced Titan to get back on their toes, swarming into the site, and we did actually see. I mean, this anticipation from Scream immediately thinking, "Hang on a second, they're going to be rotating." Just fling, <sighs> flings his aim back around so nice. 180 and does catch Zeus down. That was uh, astounding, especially considering that quick calculation. Like, hang on, he's going to be rotating through mid. They're going to have pushed up. We weren't present, and manages to catch a Navi man off guard. Now they are going to be forcing into this one. It's going to be quite symmetrical down the board. Just a deagle being ruined that Tech Nine train by Guardian. And they do have a whole lot of smokes between them. They're going to be looking to try something different here against a whole lot of SMGs. Double P90 here for Titan, and they love to set up on this one here. As you said, a lot of Tech 9s for Navi. They're actually spl splitting more towards Upper Park, actually, and going the long way through mid-existence. So we'll be waiting there. Look at this perfect positioning for the man. Will he be able to catch on? He hears some sounds. Those sound cues are coming out strong, but it's a bit of a damned if you do or damned if you don't moment for him to push right now. He has relayed that information back to his team. Smith's going to back right up towards the truck. Titan are just going to let Navi take some ground. I hope to a pounce and set the trap.
Does throw out his flash in hope of catching someone along. And actually, this is perfect. He's going to be able to find Flame. He doesn't find the frag just yet, though. But the bomb's loose. And Shocks is there to save the day. And Tyler's going to go ahead and start piling them up now. Just two more bodies for the pile. It's going to be seized in Edward. And actually sees if he's uh, a bit cautious with his footsteps, he could come around and catch it. Again, Scream, Dude. well and truly aware of that flank. And he's going to keep all five members standing then for Titan. Very neat, very tidy. And that's going to be a big contrast to that first round where we saw those three, like that flurry of frags between Guardian and Edward. Crosshair always at head height, that man. Brilliant stuff <laughs> there in that round. Really, really, really nice there. It was a good combination as well uh, with, with the players as they sort of dealt with the push from bench and out from upper park as well. Navi still waiting, obviously, for their buy. They have to go through this pistol again. Spying nothing but a P2K on Guardian. Not really extending any further than that. They are going to be, again, seizing this control. This is what we talked about as a typical, typical CT side. P250, goddammit. And there we go. It's going to be existence this time to mow them down. They're unarmored, and that P90 does exactly what it does best. Three for him in that one, and now it's just going to be seized. He's just, once again, living on a bit of a prayer to try and... Pick this, uh, something out of this one with just the Glock. But Titan, they've got their initial three. It's more than they picked up against Fnatic already. Let's not forget, 16-2 was the final scoreline against Fnatic. Now, 16-3 <laughs> is the only possibility. They have done one better than yesterday already. Gotta feel good to already have improved uh, yeah. on your final performances. But Titan cannot be satisfied with just this. As the first buy comes in here for Na'Vi. We are seeing those flashes and armor being added to those AKs, and this is where Ooh, it counts. And Titan Observer yes, is correct. Have kept with those initial buys. We still see existence and screen with those P90s now against armored foes. I'll be interested to see how this one transpires. This is especially RPK. P90, I can sometimes understand. Get right, most definitely can understand. Scream actually flashing himself. RPK there to hold his hands. RPK, if you can do damage with an MP9, I'm going to be very surprised. There it is. That's one. That's two. That's a whole lot of money, and that's a whole lot of Navi dead. Two down. Now they have just three to work with, and this SMG risk has most definitely netted them a whole lot of reward. 1,200 extra for RPK as well as a shot at a 4-0 scoreline. Pulling the rug out from underneath Na'Vi there with their push. Just how do you recover from that one now? Shell-shocked, of course. Flamey is just trying to set himself up there towards Canal. Na'Vi can be waiting for Zeus to push him now. does have the AK in hand, but it's not going to be enough to do the job now in construction. Flamey wants to push sandbags. One player for Titan on the site. Some rotations coming through as well as a Molotov. Makes Zeus's feet a little bit crispy. Yeah, now... I mean, this is where those SMGs are going to come back to bite them. Scream fortunately does find Zeus, and it is going to be level you know, in terms of numbers. Not necessarily Arsenal, a UMP for Smiths is not going to make this retake the easiest. And the flash onto Edward is fortunate. But Smith has still got a little bit of ground to cover. He's going to be coming through short, but fortunately Scream just finding a hedge out of nowhere through the wall. It's going to be Edward then who equalizes. Back and forth we go. This round has been topsy-turvy, upside down, and now it comes down to Scream. Another for him. Three in that round. RPK found the other two with the MP9 not so long ago, and Titan doing a fantastic job in securing that fourth round. Off the back of SMGs, no less. Look at the money. We see 10k in the pocket of Smith. Scream not too far behind, and that's going to be... Uh, a very scary Titan, and look at that. They are looking to continue to get extra money in the bank, following RPK's uh, lead because of the unarmored Navi they're expecting. That's right, rebuying the MP9. Knows he doesn't need to invest too deeply in anything else to deal with Navi at this stage. And they are back to a bit of a force here, of course. Uh, Tech Nine's coming out as well. Guardian has a P250. We get it right this time. Flaming with a Deagle here as well. Scream there, just going to throw that preemptive smoke out there towards Canal. It just sits tight now. and. Well, Titan can just bide their time, definitely. Smith's obviously set up here in Connector. And Na'Vi are just sitting back towards Ali, taking their time here. They know they want to go to B, at least for the most part. Unless Zeus can open something up here at Park. Yeah, I wouldn't actually commit to that call on B. This is actually what Fnatic's T side looked like. They'd start like this, and then those two prongs, those two, Edward and Zeus, would start the hunt through connector towards toilets. And, you know, maybe if they continue to see that clock fall down, once those rotates from the CTs do come in, we could very well be seeing that bomb move. But right now, you're right, C's digging his heels on towards that monster. It's going to come down to what Shocks can do here, but then again, Existence and Shocks, beautiful crossfire, and the dreams of an A push are going to be dashed as that little overextension from Na'Vi is going to... Oh, hang on a second. Connection through Smoke Flamey does bring Scream down to 36. Nothing more to come of that one, though. And I think Na'Vi realized that they don't quite have the arsenal for what they were trying. Vice versa, of course. Flamey took quite a lot of damage in, in response through that smoke, and it's just forced him on back. 
Only seized with armor at this stage as well. Whoa, uh, now he's dead. So Smith's there, great push to the MP9. Just straight towards the head as well. Very, very accurate with that one. And existence will finish that one. Put, put Na'Vi out of their misery for that round. And again, Na'Vi continuing trends of letting this, this first buy, the, the first few rounds just fall by the wayside. But here's another chance for them. Time to buy up again. Guardian has the AWP in hands right now. Even some armor. Don't you dare. No, RPK. Really? And Smith's. They're sitting pretty on a whole lot of money and they're still doing it what on earth give themselves it, a buffer why not it just feels bm they're going up <laughs> against the guardian orb they've got navi full bought and they're sticking with three smgs okay catch my breath let's see where they can go with this one again going a bit of aggressive it's going to be them trying to challenge out c it's not going to happen oh, i say that for one but unfortunately rpk trades out with the mp9 that's right folks your eyes are money, not deceiving money, money. you and let's see if this round can continue to go towards the french Bomb loose, and actually, they're getting a whole lot of intel through Shocks, who's pushed up a whole lot. And look, in the meantime, RPK gets his second. He's been so influential so far in this game. Huge word from him. And for Shocks, sometimes no information is a lot of information. He's seen nothing here towards that T-spawn, so he knows Navi's setting up more towards Park here. Flame, they might challenge him in a second, but Edward, Guardian, of course, they're looking towards Bank here. Shocks. They want to make their way towards A. Flamey actually backing up. He may have run into shocks, but he's now going to rejoin the rest of his team. But Navi have to make a pick. They have to make an entry through bench towards a main. Existence might have something to say about that one. Perched in the corner there with that P90. And we're just inching his way towards his site. Got to be nervous about this one. You've got no idea what you could potentially be going up against. And I think Top RPK is about to do some insane damage coming from behind. Guardian did not see that one coming. He's put his MP9 to bed, picked up an AK, and they've gone and done it again. Four for RPK in that round, living up to the RPK tank title. And that is mind-boggling. Using the money. three SMGs. Look at the money indeed. They're all breaching 10k bar shocks. And I think, uh, dare I speak too soon, Uber shouts, we could be seeing... A full rifle buy for Titan. The first of its kind. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the fact that RPK and Existence have opted now for those AKs. Just scavenging them. Yeah, I mean, well, they didn't really need to buy them. Why buy when you could take them off your opponents? Now, are you going for the second tactical pause uh, of the night? Last time didn't really work out the way they would have liked it to. Penta seemed unperturbed by that sort of uh, the stop in their momentum. They seem to be able to build it up again easily enough here. I tell you what, Navi, I don't know what's going on. Maybe Titan just approaches this map like, you know what, screw overpass. We don't really like it. We're just going to buy trial weapons and see what works. But so far, now, some hope must be budding for them as well. We're thinking, all right, well, maybe they're smelling blood in the water as well with Navi already falling to Penta. Maybe a sign of weakness. Maybe they're the, the prowling lion and they the, this is the injured gazelle of the pack, Navi. Potentially. I mean, on overpass, you wouldn't expect that. They're more of a predator. I mean, 11-6 win record on this map in the last three months. They're definitely a team that are, are no stranger to overpass, and they've definitely got their own kind of tricks up their sleeve, especially on the T side normally. I remember, you know, cast my mind back to the last time I saw them on overpass, and I remember a whole lot of kind of B executes. There'd be a lot of strategies surrounding our fast and slow B plays. Not seen so much of them this time. And maybe, maybe just more... Uh, more patience needs to be required. We haven't seen the kind of signature or what was once signature Navi kind of running the clock down, which can work quite well over on Overpass. So we'll keep our eyes peeled and see what it is that they bring to the fray. I think that is the question now. It's not so much what Titan are doing, because what they're doing right now is working. This over-aggression, I say over-aggression, excuse me, the aggression, it's not, it's not over-aggression because it's most definitely working uh, towards middle, towards connector, towards water. And uh, we, we're talking about what Na'Vi are doing, what they need to do now. All eyes are on Flamey as well, because I hyped him up as the counterpoint to scream, you know, oh, wow, coming yeah. up against Flamey. Nothing for him yet. has yet to really uh, get that frag as well. So it's been, it's been tough for him, only the one assist. So he really needs to wake up, needs to start making an impact here. But the Molotovs are coming in. That one went towards Sandbags. And it looks like Na'Vi, again, not pushing too hard on towards B, that they're setting up there, tentatively at least. Titan, canny for this one here. You can see Galil being bought off for Zeus, so it's definitely not a full bought Na'Vi at all. And that Molotov was all because of RPK. All of that early presence towards peaking that short tunnel, all of that would cause that Molotov to be thrown out. And you can see RPK has indeed been uh, slowed down just a little bit, playing Pillar now. And Navi in the meantime, do look like they're starting to uh, turn their attention to the uh, opposite site, despite Guardian and Flamey keeping them busy. Connector is an option for them now. They've been able to use it. They've come through, and here's Seas now heading in towards toilets. A lot of gunfire happening on B site, and since in existence, are just sitting back, waiting for a push towards him. RPK, though, he's going to take the initiative and push out towards Guardian. He gets wow. a second, Flamey. Hits 
hits the deck. He almost looks like he could have made it a third there, but this aggression from him in short burst is just putting Na'Vi, on, on, not on tilt, but they just can't stabilize. Yeah, there's very little that they can do about that. I mean, Guardian, he went aggressive. He was desperately trying to find that, uh, that presence towards water, but not this time. And again, Na'Vi have to operate at a loss. And I said, you know, where's that... That low clock, here it is, 24 seconds, and the bomb is not down. They are going to start committing towards A, but Titan already. They've got four players lying in wait, and Shocks is going to start, and it looks like the rest are going to finish. Zeus then with just a Galil towards Optimus. RPK says no. Can he find another? Not going to be needed as Existence does the work for him. He got three in the round again. RPK at the top of the scoreboard alongside Existence. Both of them are 19 frags between them. That's insane. And you look at that, that's actually almost more frags than the entirety of Navi combined. Well, it is. I mean, it is. It Matt is Matt straight is, up more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Flamey uh, almost channeling his inner James Bond there as well down the bottom. Look, I mean, volatility, when you talk about that, a, 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 a team being volatile, can actually be a good thing here. Titan are, are making such aggressive pushes and uh, little bursts that uh, Na'Vi don't really know how to react to them. They seem to be very much caught off guard by them there. RPK, when he's been let off the leash, is just wreaking havoc over at B. And he's able to rotate through and do damage later on. But Na'Vi now, again, they're working a little bit more towards mid now, more towards connector, guardian on towards Smiths as he does work long. Okay, this is something a bit quicker from Na'Vi. I think Existence is anticipating that instead. Not going to give them rest streams for free. He's pushed up and he's playing the smoke. He could play it so well. This is great. Escapes through the smoke like a slithery snake. Not going to get the second, though. In the end, it's going to be seized who responds finally. And it does look like Na'Vi turned up the heat, picked up the pace, and this could very well be number one on the board. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, oh! Seized, oh, tell you what, RPK gets a lovely double there towards Seize and Flame. He just picks him out of the barrel and makes it a 2v2. And there's Cream as well on towards Guardian. Edward now all on his lonesome here, just sitting at A. The bomb is loose. He has to sort of cross over to get that one, and he knows there's Titan players inside toilets. This could be messy. That was truly a lineup from Na'Vi, just gifting him their two heads. And the bomb does go down safely, smart from Edward, enabling him to escape, you would, ex you would expect, towards Bank. And he is going to be hunted down. His pincer is going to be deadly. No. Does cut off one of the hands before the second can grab him. And now, with the smoke from Scream, he might very well be holding this. And this is perfect relocation from Edward. That's an important round stabilizing after, again, an incredible play from RPK. It's becoming an all-too-familiar sight for us, just screaming that man's name. Just eight rounds in. And you can see them line up here. Look at this. Trying to stop the bomb. He does exactly that and then does one better. Crazy. Wasn't even trying to kill Flaming at that point. No, Flaming fed it. Yeah, he was just like, here's my head as well. I'll take it. Right now, Titan are in the same situation as they were last night, but reverse. It is now 7-1. This is where they got their first round against Fnatic, and well, we saw how the rest of the game went. They've turned this around beautifully. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they're just in the right mindset for this game. But let's see if they can continue things now, as for the most part, we see construction being sort of picketed out by Na'Vi players. Existence making his way into Connector. He wants to disrupt this now. Pushing out. He's going to get one straight away. Guardian goes down. Tries to turn for the 360 or 180, should I say? Maths, come on. He does take down Zeus at least, though. <laughs> it does trade in, though. It's what do they teach you in Australian schools? God, uh, I was like, what? No, I don't even know. 180 <laughs> degrees <laughs> in a triangle. <sighs> now, though. While well, Mitch has uh, got his textbook out, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about what Seized is doing here on towards B. Clears out the only man really defending it, the one kind of watcher on the site. And it's not going to be uh, lasting too much longer now. Flamey down, down, all onto Seized. 78 points of health and three members all coming in at him from every single angle. He knows it's not long for this world and Smith does confirm it as that's going to be two for him, two for existence in that one. And Titan, they're just taking it in turns to get really crucial frags. These kind of, they come in pairs, it seems, so far for the French. Oh, Look this. at this. The, uh, the 180, as it were, which Leslie Butchering highlight clips since 1991. But yeah, beautiful stuff from here as well. Great reaction. And it's that, it's that stuff. It's those brief moments of brilliance there, those bursts of activity from him that are turning these rounds on their heads. And Na'Vi seem to not have an answer to that. Yeah, just yeah. yet. I mean, you're right. This is uh, exactly where Fnatic stood just yesterday up against Titan. And let's see if uh, Na'Vi can find, you know, catch their breath in some, in some regard. Because this is where it starts tumbling out of control. We saw exactly with that case in the Fnatic game, though. No. does look like Smith is about to be challenged by some pistols, and Navi are all coming in once. It's going to be Existence who does draw first blood, but he's not going to be given the opportunity to find much more. Smith, though, will be waiting in toilets for this push from Navi. He knows they're all around him. He won't be able to get one. A seize gets him in the head with a P250. Now shocks. He has to step up to the plate. He has to stem the flow now. It's a smoke that comes out. The nade got two kills. Guardian to Flavie went down, and he can sit back, 
They start to defend this site as Navi push forward. Yeah, just screams catch, and that's two members down. They do have a rifle, but it's on a very low health siege. That's, yeah, I think that's the wise choice. Gets rid of both the bomb and the rifle towards his compadre in long. If Edward can actually get there, if he's been allowed to by the gatekeeper, Ooh. Scream. In the meantime, Shocks gets one, and Scream gets the other, has the double S to acquire another round. This time it was Shocks who took his uh, step to the plate. It's going to be three for him in that one. And it's going to be a very, very so uh, sexy nade. Just walking in. Now, they had pretty high health. I think I saw 63 on one of them. So that was almost a uh, collateral. Yeah, I mean, no armor, man. What are you going to do? I mean, it was uh, it was an eco round coming up from Navi there. They did pretty well considering, to be honest. Definitely put some pressure down now. But let's see what happens. Will we see that Molotov? Yes. C is going to be throwing that one there to stop the early push into construction. Navi oh, no. Up. RPK doesn't care about that one. Oh, he oh. burns down. <laughs> Why? He completely disregards that one there. Maybe he was too far deep. But he's fallen foul of that great counter strat. That's, uh, yeah, we, we said it before. That's exactly what the Molotov what was thrown for. That? Yeah, he, he quite literally whipped out a Sharpie and wrote RPK's name, three letters, on the bottle of that molly. And uh, it does find its target. Now, though, 4v4. And here comes Na'Vi towards the site. Again, pace seems to be the only way forward for them as, again, they turn up the... Uh, Heat and, and again, Edward gets two frags. Now the bomb's going to be going in. It's going to come down to Smith trying to catch this flank, and he's going to do just that. That's a start, but he had to pay quite a heavy price. Absolutely. Gets tagged quite heavily down to 18 points of health. 19, should I say. But Smith's going for the cheeky little spot up here. Great work wow. on towards Na Guardian, sorry. And we go to two and two. The bomb is down. Scream, he's got to try and work from A main as well. Does have a Molotov to use. That heads in the direction of Bank. Smoke is obscuring one of the Navi players. Flamey, though, is caught in the head by Scream. It's a 1v1 situation. Bomb is down. Not much time here. Scream has to manipulate this one. Well, he takes down Edward. He'll get the defuser. Titan, just when it looked like Navi was starting to get some wind in their sails, it is ripped from their grasp. Two versus four between the French boys there. Smith's picked up three. Scream snatching two. And that's going to put them both in double digits. They get 10 frags, Titan get 10 rounds, everyone is a happy camper. Except for Na'Vi right now, who just, again, struggling to come up with something to, to counter this play. It's a different map, it's a different team for them, but it seems like they're falling foul of the, the same internal issues, maybe, that they had earlier tonight. This is just getting away from them right now. I mean, sure, we can go to halftime and hope they get a good pistol, but now is not the time as Titan are stacking these rounds up. Flamey's in construction, though. RPK is still alive, at least. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, he didn't rush a Molotov this time, so that's the start. And in fact, look, Patience does net him a reward. As instead of falling foul to the Flames, he finds Flamey. Well, RPK not so cold this round, didn't really need it. Flashes over towards construction there, RPK straight around the corner, but Zeus actually bests him with the Galil. Scream now, thinking of stepping up to the plate, but Zeus is low to 4v4 now, a lot of action happening at Long here. Smith is flashed out, but so is Guardian, he still manages to connect though, and Existence goes down, Guardian chaining two lovely kills together. This is good, this is momentum being built up for now, and this is Titan split between A and B. Shocks is going to come out of the smoke, but Seize will be there to greet him with a hail of bullets to the face, and Scream now. Well, he's stuck on that B side. He must get to, well, on the A side, should I say. He must get towards B. Gonna go to Sniper first. Hoping to get an easy pick. Just to whistle down these numbers from Na'Vi. Great shot towards the head of Seize. The man, he is a human bot. Absolutely. He is the headshot machine. And I think we're going to be seeing Edward fall to him as well. Again, another headshot as well. This could be Scream with another clutch. I don't know whether he's got time, though. But considering Zeus's positioning, he only has to play the clock. It's going to be his worst enemy at this point, especially considering Scream's still checking corners. Zeus just has to sit and wait as Scream, so convinced the man's coming from behind him, does have the kit. Five seconds, and Zeus is just going to come and put a couple of bullets into his brain in order to acquire Navi second. The second round for this map coming up for Navi. It's so odd. Like uh, You looked at it on paper, and Overpass, not a map good for Titan. Navi, pretty damn good. They've just, Titan have just lost on this map to Mouse Sports. And at the moment, especially, you know, in the standings and in recent results, Navi, a stronger team than Mouse. Everything correlates towards this game not going 10-2 to Titan. Well, one way or another, Titan are at least getting practice on this map. That's for sure. We'll give them that. But whether they've had time between last night and now, or even the last game, to actually put things together, I'm not sure. But Existence is in Connector. Loves to work from that position. Guardian and Flamey are in Playground. Slow play towards Long here for Na'Vi. Edward with the bomb is backing out. Zeus gets a bit of resistance now, opening up that avenue of approach towards the middle of the map. But RPK always responding there, trading back and forth there towards a the B side. He will back away himself. 
Smiths and Shocks pushed up in fairly forward positions right now. We're going to see them go head to head in a moment. I think he's able to take down Smith, but there is Shocks, and he, well, didn't stay for long. Yeah, now, <coughs> excuse me, this could be the third. As I think I just hit puberty. <laughs> That no, time, mate. Me too. <laughs> well, VK only taking one with him, and it's just going to be then on to Scream. As our observer is losing her mind. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Pansy who is uh, manning the controls for tonight. And she's getting sad. Loss of voice, but not loss of motor skills. And so she is controlling the camera for us. That's going to be Flamey. What was he doing? I don't know where his motor skills went right now. The screen will still push on towards him now. Towards that A side. Bomb goes down. Zeus will be waiting from A main. He's got to look in two directions right now. Scream has to hedge his bets against those two. But Zeus will still be there to meet him when he pushes out. Three rounds now for Navi. Well, better late than never. Okay, then. Two potential more rounds, especially considering Titan's economy. They should be able to get away with their rifles. And a good head of nades as well. Just a couple of players limited on their smokes. But going into this one, then, up against, I would assume, the AWP of Guardian. Yes, he is going to be putting that back into play. And I mean, this is CT overpass. Forgetting what we saw against Fnatic, you would expect to see the CT side pick up an advantage. Ten rounds is, is huge for Titan. But if Navi find five... And this game plays out like a normal overpass game. We could have a real game on our hands. Scream with a 5-7 in existence again. Setting up shop here in Connector. And Zeus got the better of him last round, but we're going to see the head hand in just a moment. Zeus looks away at just oh. the wrong time. And that hampers Navi in a big way. Their flexibility now reduced. Shocks takes out Flamy Guardian. Does connect there with the AWP. On towards Shocks, but Titan are trading this one beautifully now with a 4v2, just stripping Navi of options in this round. Yeah, and this is, this is big from Titan. You know they haven't recovered rifles, but the, the frags alone have done damage now. Just two boys left for the CIS team. And I would not be surprised if we do see a decision kind of being made right now by Na'Vi. They know their economy is not going to be fantastic into this final round of the half, and it's a question of weighing up odds and chances. And I think it's also a question of if Guardian can find anything in the next 15 seconds. Seized also will be bringing up the rear. Bomb in tow. We're making the way towards A main right now. Shots are ringing out from those five sevens here, and Smith has actually got himself a rifle, so that's important. He's managed to get one off his comrade. 20 seconds, though. Running out of time now. He'd like to lead down the clock, maybe not in this particular way. The existence here's some sound. He knows he's going to get pushed onto. Seeds goes down, and the bomb is loose. Guardian has to make this work with the AWP right now, but he's got to be pushed onto from multiple directions. He gets flashed up. Existence, he's going to go in for the kill. Yes, he connects. Navi. Staved off this time. They started to get a bit of a run, couple rounds in a row. But Titan give themselves one of their own. 11-3. This truly is rather impressive coming in from Titan. Even in what, like less than ideal circumstances, both in buy and round, they are finding the frags necessary. 11-3. One round away then from what could potentially be a pistol round at the end of the game. Frustrating times for Na'Vi now, going for a scout, Galil, two deagles and a P250 here. Not all helmets either, but Smith there gets heavily tagged as he's been forced to back away. Na'Vi looks like they might want to work a little bit more towards the middle of the map. Yeah, that was AWP versus scout. I mean, you did see the scout come, come out on top. Just hoping if he did hit the dome and, oh, Smith does not quite connect the shot necessary. He's only given a fraction of a second in order to find that frag and... Now, Navi looking to build off of this initial block they placed down on towards Smith, and he's just got 10 points of health, but he's not, he's pushed straight through. Flamey does seem rather aware of this. He's staring directly into the smoke. He knows Smith is going to be lingering there, and this is terrifying. He knows, oh, and the backup bow comes in. Oh, oh. Smith gets it. That's hilarious. He is not going to be seeing too much more, though, as existence babysitting smoke is going to be short lived. Guardian finds another with a deagle. And Shox puts him back in his place. Yeah, two quick ones with a deagle from Guardian. Maybe a glimmer of hope there for Na'Vi. And it persists. Edward takes down Scream. And Shox knows he has to hot foot it over towards that B side. Now must get there. Tough to clutch from here as well. Does take a headshot as he makes his way through Connector on towards Walkway. Edward will flash and just try and cover his tracks. And just hold him up for as long as he possibly can. Shox knows where he should be. But there surely will be a crossfire right now. And Edward chooses the time to poke out very wisely. And takes down Shox. Na'Vi get there. Well, fourth round of the half right at the end. Yeah, in honestly pretty compromising circumstances there. They didn't have a lot to work with. They're going to need every round on top of that from here on out. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of going to be the buzzword for Na'Vi. They have very little 
uh, on their side coming into their defensive half. And it's going to be it's going to be coming down to their initial three. You know, if they can start doing the same fashion that Titan did with those first three rounds and then continue to build um, off the back of them, I think it was actually uh, a rather convincing start. And that's kind of where Navi need to follow suit. So far, we have seen Navi, you know, sort of lose that pistol and then not actually able to sort of uh, have the wits about them by the time those gun rounds come around as well. So, well, obviously, goes without saying, pistol is a must win here for Navi. They have to start to stack some of those rounds up. It's been a good performance from Edward, uh, considering. But Flamey as well, very, very quiet half for him, really. Only three kills to his name. Hasn't been able to have an impact. Hasn't been able to influence the flow of the game as well. And it's going to be frustrating for one of the best riflers in CSGO. Yeah, I mean, he's crazy. And I mean, the, everyone's drawing that com same comparison that you did, where it's kind of Flamey and Scream, who are these kind of what can sometimes just go off on these fragging streaks that very few people can counter. And let's see if uh, maybe Flamey can redeem himself. Now on the defensive side, it looks like it's going to be a long play from Titan. They're throwing their bodies and Flamey, just as we questioned him, has drawn first blood. That's right, it does open up with that USP. Now he's working in towards mid through toilets. He's still fairly healthy as well. He takes his second. The scalp of existence will be added. Smith is able to come through, push in towards toilets and take him down. The menace that he had been Smith with two as well, going to even it up at three apiece. Scream is incredibly though now, and you can see Navi plays just huddling up on towards his A site. Can they do much from here? They're expecting a push through, and Edwards set up in toilets as well. They have a good cover, but let's see if they can make the shots connect. They cannot! Smith's an RPK, getting it done here, turning this pistol around. This is disastrous for Navi. This, I mean, it couldn't have gone any worse. Now Tyler turned it completely on its head. Three for Smith's in that one. RPK picked up the double for himself, getting that final frag into the head of Edward, and now we have a, a little bit of a problem on our hands. Losing that pistol is going to put a lot of pressure now on Navi's, re like, the remaining few rounds. I'm int intrigued to see how they take this force. They have gone full as, as much as they can, rather. Helmet and Kevlar deals across the board, for, apart from the two five sevens. Now it comes down to those SMGs from Titan. This could be a replay of what we saw before. Those MP9s. <laughs> they really want to squash Navi here, of course. A Mac Daddy coming out as well for RPK. And Smith's Actually managed to get himself an AK here, so Deagle's coming out for Na'Vi. They must hold on here. Armor, helmet for all but two. And Flame is pushed up here on long quite close. His teammate is there flanking him. Existence now in mid might be caught here. Aziz comes up from behind him, does manage to take him out. There's Flamey as well doing work with the Deagle. RPK is able to chime in here and so is Scream. But Na'Vi have done well. They've traded into this one beautifully. Now the MAC-10 of RPK does find its mark. Here's our 2v2, but Edward has managed to get himself that MP7. So has Zeus. Decent guns in the hands of these guys. Let's see what they can make of it. Yeah, I like this. He's wielding Existence's weapon and kind of putting two and two together and realizing that they are going to be on their way back. Catches the bomb carriers. He does get himself up to party. Very nice work from him. And let's see if he really can celebrate. If it's ju a little too premature, Scream does find Zeus's head. And now he just has 40 seconds to find the SMG of Edward. Oh, gets caught. Very nice from Na'Vi. They come into the second round looking for a little bit of a vengeance, and they do get a taste for it. They turn that around so beautifully as well. Invested heavily in Deagles and put a lot of players on long. They read that nicely as well. Getting those guns straight out of Titan's hands, giving themselves access to those SMGs to turn things around, really helped get themselves back in that one. I mean, they didn't win the pistol, but well, this is the next best thing here. And Na'Vi now able to buy up three Famuses, an AK, as well as an M4 there for them. And Titan now forced to be a bit more frugal now with those Tech 9s and the P250s. Couple flashes there as well. They've all got some armor, no helmet for existence. So they've got something to work with. But <laughs> as I said, they need to do a Na'Vi here as well if they want to keep that train rolling. Yeah, and I mean, if they did keep that train rolling, Na'Vi's economy is going to be completely reset. That's the kind of the one worry when Titan do bring this force into play. And now it does look like they are going to be starting to uh, push through toilets. This is aggressive, and we saw it work for Na'Vi this time. Let's see if it can work for Titan. Oh, just the one. Scream does swing around, and he's going to be able to find a very crucial frag. Bomb is loose, though, and Guardian not going to let Titan start something special. And as I say that, it's just going to be coming down to Smith. Don't you dare, Zeus. Stops that before it gets out of control. Did manage to do three frags, though. To take three weapons away from Na'Vi is not, a uh, you know, the most... Uh, Important thing considering Titan's economy now, but it does manage to keep Na'Vi, keep a lid on Na'Vi and force them into something a little less than ideal. Do you want to keep them within arm's reach as well? <clears throat> you know, any sort of economic damage that they can be inflicting at this stage that can possibly, you know, sort of pay dividends further down the track. So, still forcing up with those pistols here, RPK and Scream with Deagles. P250s 
Only armor on RPK though as well. He's the only player with that one. So Titan, do they play this one differently? Oh, Zeus getting so aggressive there, just straight towards the head of Shocks. He never knew what hit him. Yeah, I thought, for a second I thought we were watching RPK there. The MP9 pushing down through water and... Oh, <laughs> looks like the uh, shop's closed again through connector. As the door just gets spammed, closed though. Flamey throws out his molly. Finally, another one this time for Edward as Naviad is going to be making light work. I was going to say of Titan until RPK oh. joined us. Don't do this to me. It could have been three with the Deagle. No, nope, just the two for him. Again, though, taking weapons away from Na'Vi. That's the point you just made whereby, you know, they are keeping Na'Vi kind of honest and frugal. And they are going to be going into this one with the AKs. Yeah, not able to plant, though, Titan. That, that is definitely going to be holding them back a little bit economically here. I mean, Smith's... Let's see what he's got. I think he did buy a rifle there. Yeah, he did. Obviously got the AWP in hand. So he at least now can go for that one. RPK doesn't have armor, so they're still cobbling some stuff together. And Na'Vi, you know, a la Titan last half, still staying with some of those SMGs. There were two. Fortunately, Zeus does actually uh, scavenge a FAMAS off the floor, courtesy of one of his teammates. And uh, So going into this one then, things are going to start heating up for Titan. After so many rounds consecutively, they're going to be uh, keen to start to make their own impact. Na'Vi, of course, three in a row now off the back of Titan's uh, only one pistol round. I think it's, it's evidence in their play that they are not keen on losing anyone early. Titan have managed to seize connect to control, and they're going to be trying to build off that through middle. Guardian. Holding fast just outside toilets and oh, we caught a glimpse of one. It was Smith's AWP now snatched away from Titan and that's a huge start. Quite an exposed position for Smith to actually have pushed up into there and Garden, well, he had the line and he took the shot now and Flamey will actually push through to towards toilets, at least set him up himself up in that corner for the moment. And Titan will have to play this one a little bit slower. The, the, the AWP has actually gone over to existence here and Shox is going to play out of canal here towards that pillow. Like he can find the head of Hebwood though. That's a great start. There's going to be another one on the side though and Zeus will be able to trade into that one and send him packing. Titan are happy to go one for one at this stage of pushing in, but they just have to keep the momentum going. They need to be pushing onto these sites and pressuring Na'Vi. Zeus getting a lot of breathing room here. He knows they're going to be coming through from Connector. RPK goes down. Will he make it a second? Yes, Scream hits the deck and the bomb is loose. It's just existence left with an AWP and fire in his face. He's going to have to back right on up here. And, well, will he save this one or just go for something different? I think he's got to be very careful. He will be pushed, though. It's a question of survival. He does get the one. He's going to have to try and get out of line of sight just in the nick of time. Does just that. So he's going to be able to find security right back where he started at spawn. Interesting stuff here as well. We're seeing... Uh, Quite a few consecutive rounds coming out here for Na'Vi. They've stitched up four, of course, in this half. You can see they've actually done so for the most part quite cleanly. So economy starting to flow for them now. And Titans, the, the shoe's on the other foot here. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. We're seeing those Tech Nines being brought into. Smith's now getting his orb returned to him. But they're going to have to play around him as a pivot point here. He is going glass cannon. No armor for the man. He has to create an opening here in Na'Vi. And Titan had to exploit that and quickly. And that's not going to be <laughs> ideal, oh Guardian. God. He did a little late to the round before. This time he goes hunting, and the fast peak does net him a huge reward. Existence then has the orc thrust into his hands as he's told to do one better than his teammate. Bomb from Titan is going to be such a priority now. They just need money at this point, and Shox has made huge room for his team over on the B site. Left Edward to his own devices, and actually did cost them a whole lot of problems. Never mind, Scream now down. Zeus doing the same, and now Titan have so, so few players standing so early in the round. It seems like it's just the same thing again and again. And this is going to be the fifth in a row for Navi. Guardian happy to push up a little bit aggressively towards Park there. Does find the kill. This RPK though going head to head with Seize, but Seize had the shot when it counted and Existence is forced to back up into toilets. That AWP is still being circulated through Titan players. Existence still has it, but there it's going to be taken away from him. And Titan now, well, they have back to the drawing board. They must reset here. They understand, of course, they can buy. They don't have that AWP anymore. Smith will buy him one, himself one regardless. But that scoreboard looking a little bit nicer here. Look at, Fl at Flamey as well. He's had a lift. He's now... In the mid t he's in the middle table. Let's see what he can do now as the rest of these rounds go. It's a double orb set up though for Na'Vi. Yep, not something we've seen from them before. It's actually going to be Edward who brings the second one into the play and it looks like he's going to be just taking that straight towards, I would assume, going for that peak on Monster. 
Oh, and that's nice. He gets flashed in. Isn't anticipating. Oh, he is. Smiths, where were you? Catches a glimpse of his thighs and does again. That's three rounds in a row that that AWP investment from Titan has just been taken away so early. Yeah, it wasn't even by the primary AWP from RV as well. Edward stepping up to the plate this time with alacrity. He will miss the shot over towards RPK. I think it was. The Seas does go down. Shock's trying to work his way up out of Canal. RPK oh. at the front. Shock's lead finds the head of Edward somehow. And that's the AWP down. But Zuchty's going to respond. He's back and forth on this B site. And there's two players left for Navi. It's an AWP and an M4 in their hands. What can they do with them? As Titan look to try and get this plant down. Back and forth game. I did see again. Early start from Navi. This time though, Titan have managed to get their teeth a little further into the site. It's going to be Guardian and Flamey then. And I like this angle from Shocks. They're not anticipating it. Does find the one. Guardian on the hunt. Not even going to be allowed it. Shocks seizes four frags in that one. Started so humbly and built on four Titan. 13 then for them. And that's going to be so crucial. As it did feel like Na'Vi was starting to roll a little bit of a snowball. That was five in a row for them, and finally Titan put one on the board for them. That's two now for them on the T side. Economically, of course, Titan are not out of the woods yet. They must get this next consecutive one, but they're able to buy up. They already give themselves all the utility they could want. On the side of Na'Vi, though, they are lacking a bit. Only smokes for Aww. Flamey and Zeus <laughs> at this stage. So, I mean, their ability to stall for time is going to be hampered a bit. Damn you, Seize. I was getting so excited. I was like, oh, that's a keen lineup. Where are you taking me? In the meantime, Guardians going aggressive. What a two, not three. He does. He's just shattering their hopes and dreams on long. Titan fall is a different game. And now it's all on to shocks. Wow, what a showing there from Guardian. Completely shutting down Titan just as they start to get a sniff of the cheese, as it were. And now shocks. Well, he's going to try and pull out some of his own Parmesan, some of his own brand now. 1v5 with the AWP in hand. Will he hold on to it? Probably no point now. Too easy to catch the man. He does take down C's. That's why I'm chalking it up. But Guardian gets the ace, and he's going to shut Titan back down and put him in their place. Wow, and it was so damn, so damn sexy as well. Only losing one man for Navi. Look at this. Charging at them with rifles. I almost felt like they had Tech 9s. What was that? Just goes off on long. And the Pro League most definitely living up to its name. We have seen so many crazy plays over the course of just two days. My mind cannot take it. And now, just Shocks, who has gear, going to try and build something for Titan. Because I feel I have a horrible fear that that is going to be uh, the first nail whipped out for Titan and their coffin. Because now their money has been completely reset. Oh, I got a feeling this may well be real close here. P250s for existence RPK, well the entirety of Titan with the exception of Shocks here. He at least has a smoke and a flash which he'll expend now. We're going to try something on towards B here. It's got to be aggressive. It's got to be a burst play and they are making the push out on towards that side. Shocks will be bringing up the rear here. There is a lot of smoke going up and Zeus wants to try and well, squash down this rebellion as quick as possible but Scream takes one. Zeus with one himself. Edward chimes in there as well. Over towards, the, uh, over towards his pistol and will manage to pick up that kill as well. And unfortunately, that's what happens. Titan trying to create an opportunity there on that e on that eco, but well, uh, not going to be enough for them there. Do you see uh, another problem for Titan is the cost of their money. That's going to be a, not as a full eco, but two kind of a double half eco. You are going to see a couple of them just acquire a little bit of money. And oh, here we go. Let's see if you can do it this time, Seize. Do it for me. Lines up and then changes his mind. Does it this time? No. Oh. oh. Hey, okay, so he does throw it out, and it's actually, that's quite nice. It's going to land straight into short. We saw in a similar smoke from Tads not too long ago. Talk about it in a second. Titan are again shattered. It's all then just on to Shocks and Existence. Shocks found one. Looking for a second, but he's forced to reload, and that costs him his life and his teammate Existence. And Navi are playing CT as you would expect, I suppose. Considering what we did see from Titan CT side, I think my... Uh, my bias levels have been askew by Fnatic yesterday. I was so confused. I wasn't sure what to expect coming into this one, especially seeing Titan acquire so much more on their CT side. But no, Navi keeping it default. It's tough to see a Fnatic game and take the result for Gospel, I think, now as well. well Navi are starting to wake up as well. They're within spitting distance of Titan after that round. and Titan have to buy at the very least here, but they've, they've really got to do something special with it. It can't just be a close round. If they win it, they, they have to dominate right now. But everyone's going to be waiting in construction, and he takes down RPK. Zeus is also flanking him now. Grenades in towards Connector. Shocks will have to back up for a moment now as Caesar waits to push from long. Smiths will be obliging right now as he will flash himself in. And Flamey is also being brought on towards that side. Seize, great little flick, but Smith will be able to take his head off immediately. Flamey sitting behind the dumpster. There's going to be Molotov down. Shots through smoke. No, he won't make it. And Smith will be able to get across that one now. Flamey takes down Existence. Flamey takes down Smith. He's looking for a third right now, but Shocks is there to shut him down. This is doable. Scream and Shocks, no stranger to the clutch. And the bomb is going to be going down. Nade going to be... Oof. 
bringing shocks down to a similar level as Scream oh. and straight through the smoke. Edward finishes what he started. Now then, it falls to Scream. Three hungry members of Na'Vi are going to be fed that final frag, and that's going to be the equalizer. We find ourselves then at 13-13, and this has been the mental fortitude of Na'Vi displayed. Well, at the very least, Titan have actually managed to get a plant here, so it's not going to be at the end of the world. Silver you see lining, that. always, Mitch. Well, I mean, the, the thing <laughs> is, they haven't planted often uh, in, on their T side here at all. Quite a lot of those rounds, they are they're very much struggling with. But Zeus and Guardian, have a look at this. Those three players, in fact, really stepping up right now. Twenty-two kills, twenty-one for Guardian. So very, very good. They're all waking up. They could have used them last game, but well, this is where it's at right now. Let's see what they can do. Oh, and he's got the uh, as you dubbed it, the Dak Dak. <laughs> <laughs> the Dak Dak. That's He's the one. going to be equipping that and not finding anything too early on then in this one. Flamey, maybe he's found a little bit of uh, a little bit of happiness with that weapon. He's still sitting pretty on 12 frags, finding more than he did in the previous one. In the meantime, though, First Blood has been drawn and traded as Zeus and Shox bite the dust. That's right, of course. Guardian's still with the AWP in hand. He's a little bit tagged up at the moment here. For the most part, it's Titan looked to be working that long. Flamey, just going to rotate now. Set himself up, flash himself to get the spot. RPK, great shot towards the head of CZ. will take oh. down Flamey as well. And that's a great little passage of play here for Titan. Can they expand on this one here? You can see the reinforcements. The cavalry are on the way as Edward making his way up towards back of A. Guardian will be there as well. A dumpster with AWP. The bomb is already down and Scream is waiting for Edward as he comes up the stairs. And Scream finishes it as well. RPK, those two frag, like two entry frags on a site. Do not come easily. They shouldn't come easily. That's a site where CTs can afford to just hold very tight angles and you have to come to them. And he clicks his fingers and takes two down. Very, very important play there from RPK. He has been a real backbone for his team and it's, it's represented in his frags as well. He is in a similar fashion to Na'Vi. Th top three sitting 20 plus, just three frags separating those top three fraggers. And it's great to see RPK joining the likes of Shocks and Scream at the top. RPK made that look just so effortless. No, Na'Vi, all right. They've got to gather their wits here. Titan put their nose back in front. It's got to be tit for tat until the very end. I can feel it. But there's RPK making headlines again on towards Guardian. But Flamey, the two stacking connected from Na'Vi working out well. And Seized is there to pick up existence as he makes his way through. He is tagged up quite heavily. Smith is there and he goes down. Nice work from Screen to chime in on that one. Now Flamey has to deal with Smith at length. But he will get him. Trade back and forth. 2v2 two two now. And Titan, well, we're going to be taking the bob back in towards their spawn. Gear up for another push. Yeah, there's so much time on the clock. I think Titan don't want to rush things, especially on such an important route. If they pick this one up, that 16th will come, you would expect, a little easier, considering where Na'Vi would be sat, or rather the Na'Vi's wallets would be sat. But so far, 50 seconds, and that bomb is going to be slowly creeping and crawling. And Na'Vi, they're not ready for this. Edward's still in long. Titan haven't given too many signals away. This is going to be it, though. Starts waving a big red flag, and Zeus is going to be screaming that he needs backup as the smoke is pluming. That's right, Zeus can only really watch the cross to the side. Anything more than this? Far too risky for the man. Molotov on the corner is going to prevent him from peeking that one safely and smoke on towards the site. Scream with subterfuge. We'll plant the bomb. He'll back away as well. Zeus is going to have a crack through the smoke. Won't connect any of those bullets as well. And that's got to be starting to make you concerned now as Titan can back away. Edward's going through pipe. Shocks will be there to meet him. Who will be the better on the shot? It is Shocks. And now Zeus must. We must see. We've got it all to do right now. He must put the team on his shoulders to bring this one back. But Scream will shut him down. And that is heartbreaking for Na'Vi after mounting a very reasonable comeback here. They're on match point and Titan are looking good. Yeah, this has been a bit of a nail-biter as things started to come to a close. And I say come to a close because you have to look at that money. Three players are going to have the, the I I idyllic buy. That's, of course, without the nades and utility that they do require. It's going to be Flamey who just step up to the mantle and equip himself something special. Just going for the two flashes and a smoke. Another flash and a smoke for Guardian. But that's all they have to work with in order to delay. And look at the side of Titan. Mollies for days. They've got everything they need right now to finish this one off. His scream is going to be working too long and won't actually find any opposition. Na'Vi, well, they're trying to make the most, I guess, of P250s and Mag, Mag 7s now as they sit in towards Connector oh. and they are just waiting. Was that Shox? Yeah. I oh, my Lord. I he just got my flame. Oh, he did. <gasps> okay. Panic over. There's plenty more where that came from. Now he's going to be sitting Connector right now. We did see the door open, so he knows that Na'Vi have a strong presence towards here and he's just going to sit back as the rest of his team will be sneaking their way towards A. And there's only C's there to receive them now. He can hear the mollies. He can hear the sound of Titan pushing past him, but he can't see. He is completely flashed out, and they've just gone straight past him now. C's has to turn around very, very quickly. He does get the better of Smith, but there's so much smoke. There's so much blood, and RPK is going to be able to take out C's. Edward will go down, and Guardian, it's not going to be enough here at all for Na'Vi. And Titan have done it. 
They have brought this one back. Navi 0-2 for the night so far. Devastating stuff. Titan stabilized then. 16-14. Couldn't get much closer than that. I think that's uh, going to be a big result as well for Titan. 16-13, excuse me. I just gave them an extra one because I yeah. care. Because I care. But um, no, coming down right to the wire um, with T Titan's strong CT side. Navi do it having almost exactly the same. Just uh, edging a couple of individual performances from RPK. I, he is going to be my MVP of that one. He, the, the frags he was getting was so important. Taking risks with an MP9 way back when. Getting those frags against rifles and then now on the T side finding those frags on sites very very comfortable play from him what a very valuable buffer actually for Titan on that CC half which ultimately it didn't seem yeah. like they really needed I mean to get I think it was 11 rounds in the first half is, is very it's very very good it's more than you'd expect you sort of go for the, the 10 and 5 split and yeah. be sort of happy to move on with that one so they exceeded expectations there as well and for a team who were going into this game saying I'm getting pretty sick of overpass well they've definitely uh, they've done well in that regard yeah, so that doesn't end. That's not the end of the line for Navi, as they have a third test that they're going to have to attempt to pass. It's going to be up against Envious, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that one unfolds. If you guys have missed any of the action, to both today and yesterday in the Pro League, you can catch all of that information and more over at the Score Esports application. Just check it out on your phone on the go. And for now, it's time for us to take a break. When we're back, we'll find out if Navi can pass test three.